Welcome back, welcome back, any and all. Glad y'all could come back to hear the word. Not only hear the word, but be doers of the word. Glory be to a higher. I sure hope when you woke up this morning, you told Father God, thank you. It is he that woke us up. We didn't wake ourselves up. No, we can't do that. We can't even breathe on our own, believe it or not. And today we're in, hallelujah, we're still in the book of Zechariah. We're on chapter 11, trouble for Israel's enemies. I sure hope when you woke up this morning, you told Father God, thank you. Not only that, you told him thank you for keeping you overnight and waking you up this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, before we begin our reading, we're going to say a prayer for children of all ages. But before we do that, I want to know are you guys saved? Have you been baptized down in water in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins? Do you have the personal relationship with the Father? Because that's what he wants from each and every one of us. A personal relationship. This is not about religion. It's a personal relationship. You need to be reading God's word daily. Preferably the King James Version of the Bible. Going down on your knees in prayer. Crying out to the Father in sincerity and truth. Right? And uh, you need to keep crying out to him until you hear from him. If you didn't hear from him, you keep crying out until you hear from him. He knows your heart. He knows your heart. He will answer you. Not only that, he'll teach you the word of God. He taught me. And he's continuously teaching me. It's a beautiful thing to know the Lord, to have a relationship with him. I'm telling you, it's beautiful. You don't try everything else, what you're waiting for. Right? Choose ye today whom you're going to serve. And you need to have a daily life of repentance because we live in these fleshly bodies and the flesh is always warring with the spirit. Right? I tell you the truth because I love you and Father God loves you more. We're going to say a prayer now for children of all ages before we begin our reading. Hallelujah. Father God, we come to you today to say thank you. Thank you, my Father. Thank you for the say. Thank you for every day. Thank you for your daily provision. Thank you, Father, for your protection. Thank you, Father, for our siblings. We love them. Thank you, Father, for our parents who train us up by your word. And thank you, Father, to teach us to, to treat others the way that we want to be treated with love and respect. We love you, my Father. It's in Jesus' mighty name that we pray. Amen. Amen, indeed. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Zechariah chapter 11. Trouble for Israel's enemies. Lebanon, open your gates. Let the fire come in to destroy your cedar trees. Cry, you cypress trees. The glorious cedars have fallen and are rotting. Cry, you oak trees of Bashan. The dense forest has been chopped down. Listen, shepherds are crying. Their glorious pastures have been ruined. Listen, lions are roaring. The forests of the Jordan Valley are no more to be found. The word, my God, the Lord, my God, said to me, Tend those sheep doomed for slaughter. The people who buy and butcher them go unpunished, while everyone who sells them says, Praise the Lord, I'm rich. Not even their shepherds have pity on them. Tend those sheep because I, the Lord, will no longer have pity on the people of this earth. I'll turn neighbor against neighbor and make them slaves of a king. They will bring disaster on the earth, and I'll do nothing to rescue any of them. So I became a shepherd of those sheep doomed to be slaughtered by the sheep dealers. And I gave names to the two sticks I used for tending the sheep. One of them was named Mercy. The other, Unity. In less than a month, I became impatient with three shepherds who didn't like me. And I got rid of them. Then I said, I refuse to be your shepherd. Let the sheep that are going to die go on and die. And those that are going to be destroyed go on and be destroyed. Then let the others eat one another alive. On that same day, I broke the stick named Mercy to show that the Lord had canceled his agreement with all people. The sheep dealers who saw me knew right away that this was a message from the Lord. I told them, pay me my wages if you think you should. Otherwise, forget it. So they handed me my wages, a measly 30 pieces of silver. Then the Lord said, throw the money into the treasury. So I threw the money into the treasury at the Lord's temple. Then I broke the stick named Unity and canceled the ties between Judah and Israel. Next, the Lord said to me, act like a shepherd again. This time, a worthless shepherd. Once more, I'm going to let a worthless nobody rule the land. One who won't care for the strays or search for the young or heal the sick or feed the healthy. He will just dine on the, fat, on the fattest sheep leaving nothing but a few bones. You worthless shepherd, deserting the sheep. I hope a sword will cripple your arm and blind your right eye. Oh, God's willing tomorrow, in <laughs> chapter 12 in the book of Zechariah, victory for Jerusalem. You all tell your loved ones that you love them. We're not promised tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. Tell them all about Father God who gave his only begotten son, 
who died on the cross for all our sins. He didn't die for one of some, he died for us all. So if you're not living for the Lord, I don't know who you're living for. If you're not living for the Lord, let's put it this way. If you're not serving the Lord, you're serving Satan, period. And let's put it like, straight, blank, point blank. We're not going to sugarcoat anything. Straight to the point, all right? You either serve the Lord. If you're not serving the Lord, you're serving Satan, period. So you choose this day who you're going to serve. But do, this, do know this. If you serve Satan, he's coming back for the reap. He's a grim reaper. He's coming back to reap. You best to be sure of that. And um, I always tell you the truth because I love you and Father God loves you more. Father God says, love the Lord thy God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength and love your neighbor as yourself. That's not something up for debate or discussion. It's something we all must do, so please do it. And if you have any unforgiveness in your heart, please let it go. Your Father who art in heaven is not going to forgive you for your sins and your transgressions if you don't forgive your fellow man. And your prayers could be hindered. You all have yourself a beautiful, blessed day. Children of all ages, from youngest to oldest alike, God bless you. Bye-bye.